gardeners welcome back to my channel my name is Trisha and in today's video we are going to be looking at arboreal snake enclosures and I'm going to be reviewing them and I just want to give a quick shout out to everyone that participated in this video because I had the least amount of submissions for this one and it was so hard getting submissions I don't know if a lot of people just don't keep arboreal snakes or if they didn't see my post on Instagram but like normally I get a ton of submissions and it was like really really light this time however the ones that I did get are so good and so beautiful so I'm very excited for this video but I just really want to thank everyone that participated in this one so the first enclosure that we're gonna look at today is from Brett Landes and this is for a green tree python. So looking at this enclosure, it looks so nice and spacious. I'm sure that your green tree python just adores all of that space and utilizes it, especially at nighttime, because these snakes are so crazy at nighttime. It's the most entertaining thing ever, but they're literally all over their enclosure. So when I'm looking at this enclosure, the first thing I'm noticing besides the space is the three-dimensional naturalistic background, which is absolutely stunning. That's like my favorite thing to see. It takes so much work to do a three-dimensional. That's why I don't do it with my enclosures because I'm just so impatient. And once I do the background, the background takes like two days and then to do two other sides would be like another four days. Like it's just a long process. So I definitely got to give you respect for the amount of work that you've put into this. And I'm digging the perches. They're nice and wide. There's so much horizontal space, which is so important for green tree pythons. So the one thing that I want to see in this enclosure be more green. I would love to see more plants, whether it's live or fake, that would just bring so much enrichment to this enclosure and also just help fill it out as well. It looks a little bit bare, so I definitely just want to see a lot of plants and foliage and things going on. More things for your snake to check out at nighttime, to sniff and smell and climb through. So, and I just think it would really pop in this enclosure, especially with that beautiful naturalistic background. So thank you so much for sharing your enclosure. Next up we have Slither and Coil, and this is another green tree python enclosure. So this looks like, I'm not sure if you made this enclosure yourself or where you got it from, but it's really beautiful looking. It looks very nice and clean, which I also appreciate. I can see that you have a radiant heat panel for your green tree python. So because I see that, something that I would recommend, it kind of depends on where you have your enclosure and if there's a lot of natural light in that room, I would just want to make sure that your snake is on a regular day-night cycle and they get some light exposure during the day. That way they can understand the schedule of day and night time because it's just good for their psychological health and well-being. I do like that you have different options of poles for your green tree python to perch on and you do have a couple of fake plants. I would love to see more plants throughout this enclosure, whether it's live or fake. Plants are just such a great form of enrichment and I think that your snake would appreciate it as well. And then he actually has one other submission and the second one is for a rhino rat snake. So it looks like a similar enclosure, another radiant heat panel. So again, I would just be careful with that and make sure that your snake is still getting some light exposure just so that way it knows like the time of the day. Well, not the exact time of the day, but it gets that day night cycle. Um, I do see more plants in this one and just a little bit more enrichment, which I really appreciate. So I think that you're doing a fantastic job. Honestly, I might just add more plants. I think that you can fill it out a little bit more, maybe add some leaf litter. I think that some enrichment would be fantastic. Moss would also be really great too. Moving on to the next one. The next one is Extraordinary Constrictors. So this is for an Amazon tree boa. The plants need to grow in still in the enclosure is a fresh bioactive build. So bioactive is amazing. So this enclosure looks really, really cool. It looks like, I'm not sure if you made the naturalistic background or if it came with the enclosure, but I can see that you made it three dimensional, which is really creative and I love how that looks. I see that you do have some plants and some sticks. So something that I would recommend for this enclosure is to maybe put the sticks a little bit more horizontal in your enclosure. That way your snake can perch on it a little better and just be a little bit more comfortable. I do like that you have live plants at the bottom. I would suggest to fill out the top part as well a little bit. Maybe just add some fake plants or foliage at the top as well. I think that that would look fantastic and I think it would just be another thing for your snake to check out and give it some enrichment. And the next one is Living Oasis. So this is for a semi-arboreal boa constrictor. 
This video is for arboreal snakes and this is a semi-arboreal snake so I absolutely want to include it because boa constrictors do love to climb so and I love this enclosure so we're going to go ahead and take a peek at it. So this enclosure is so big and beautiful. It has a naturalistic three-dimensional background, different things to climb on, and I love the use of foliage and plants throughout this entire enclosure. It's just full of enrichment, which I absolutely love. I'm sure that your snake loves it as well. So you've done a fantastic job. That looks like one happy boa constrictor, and I love this setup, so thank you so much for sharing it. Next up is Basil Exotics. So this is for an Amazon tree boa. She said that she's still planning to go bioactive with this one. So I really love the use of colors throughout this enclosure. It looks beautiful. I would probably recommend to try using a substrate at the bottom. I think that it would just look better and also just provide more enrichment for your snake. Something else I would recommend is to maybe just add more perches for your snake to climb on throughout the enclosure. I can see that you have some in the middle. I would add even more of different sizes that are skinnier as well. You do want to make sure that your snake can perch on something that has a stick that's similar in size to its girth. So I would add that in the closure. It might be in here and I may not just see it in the photo because sometimes I miss things when I'm just looking at a photo. But you've done a fantastic job with decorating. I love all the different flowers. I would be careful with some of the plants. I can't tell if it's fabric or not. I typically just recommend to use the plastic fake plants just because if you're going to be using fabric, they can hold on to bacteria and it can cause an unhealthy environment for your snake. So just be aware of that and be careful. But you've done an amazing job, so thank you so much for sharing it. And I just realized that that whole bit I said about the paper towel, you literally said in the beginning that you're planning to go bioactive. So I'm sure that's going to look absolutely amazing and your snake will appreciate it as well. Feel free to send me a photo when you upgrade it to bioactive because I would love to see it. Next up is J-R-I-Z-C. I am sure I completely butchered your name and I'm so sorry because I like love your account so much and I feel so bad but like I'm I'm terrible at pronouncing things so I'm sorry if I said that wrong. We're looking at an enclosure that is for a green tree python I believe. She said that she hasn't gotten it yet and she's going to be adding it to this enclosure so this is just everything that she's setting up before the snake is actually home and she has done like the most beautiful job like just I could look at this enclosure all day. It just is so gorgeous. It's so naturalistic. It has so much enrichment, so much color, different things to climb on, different textures everywhere. So the one thing that I'm a little bit unsure of is that you have like a lot of water at the bottom which I'm sure would help with humidity and you have it filtered so that's great I know that the water quality will be safe I'm just not sure because I haven't seen anyone do this and I'm not sure if it's completely safe for your snake so I would just be a little cautious I might lower the water level just to make it a little bit safer for your snake just just to be safe because I don't want any accidents to happen or your snake to potentially drown so that is the one thing that I would mention just because I'm not too familiar with doing something like this, but it may be totally okay and I just don't know what I'm talking about and I'm just paranoid and extra like protective. But honestly, it looks so good. You even told me you're planning on getting more perches and you're looking for different types of woods and things. So like you are just completely killing it when it comes to enrichment. So thank you so much for sharing your enclosure and good luck when you get that snake. Next up is MN Snakes. So this is for a Madagascar tree boa. So, oh my god, just look at this enclosure. It has so much enrichment. I love the different textures of different woods that I'm seeing throughout this enclosure. It has live plants and fake plants. Oh my gosh, like I love it. I don't know if I have anything to add for this because it is just so stunning. You've done such an amazing job. Thank you so much for sharing. And then also there are a couple of pictures here. So the first one is for a rhino rat snake, the second one is for an emerald tree boa, and the third one is for a Madagascar tree boa. So all of your snakes are just, I'm sure they're thriving. You're doing such an amazing job. Thank you for sharing these beautiful setups. Next up is Extraordinary Constrictors, and this is for an Amazon tree boa. So the Amazon tree boa is stunning, by the way. I love the orange and black ones because it just totally reminds me of Halloween. I'm obsessed. I love it. So this enclosure is just full of enrichment. Again, so gorgeous. I love the live plants. There's different textures and feels, different types of woods. 
So honestly, I'm seeing that the branches are pretty thick. I would recommend to offer some skinnier branches as well just because your snake is so small. I think that your snake would appreciate that as well. I may just offer a little bit more of those um, smaller perches horizontally because a lot of them are more vertical. So it would offer a little bit more of horizontal climbing space as well for your snake. I think your snake would appreciate that, but other than that, I don't have any other recommendations because this looks so good. Next up is My Danger Noodles. So this is actually a setup for a corn snake, which is not an arboreal snake, but they do love to climb. So I'm really happy that this person shared their enclosure just to show like all the enrichment that they're giving for a corn snake and all the climbing opportunity because that's pretty much what today's video is about anyway with arboreal snakes. So looking at this enclosure, it's just so cool. I love the background with like all of the different ropes. I'm sure that like my corn snake would love that too. Like that's just such a great form of enrichment. And then there's other things going throughout the enclosure, different woods, different hides, pots and plants. The only thing that I would like to see more in this enclosure is just more green, but that's just like a personal preference of mine. But your snake may also like the enrichment of just different smells and textures of plants throughout the enclosure as well. So that would be my only recommendation, but thank you so much for sharing this because it's so creative. So you guys need to prepare yourselves for the next ones. Okay, so these... I literally don't even have like any critique. You're just about to be blown away because these enclosures are so stunning as well as the animals that go in them. They're all venomous arboreal snakes and I'm like, you'll just have to see. Let's take a look. So all of these submissions are from Freddie Timmerman. You guys should all check him out on Instagram because his animals are gorgeous, his enclosures are gorgeous, and his photos are gorgeous. So let's just go ahead and look through some of these. They are all like so spacious for these snakes. It's so funny because like you literally can't even see the snakes in them because they're able to camouflage so well, just like they would be able to in the wild. And like this just completely just shows what enrichment should be for animals because these animals are able to blend in, hide, enjoy enrichment, and do natural behaviors like they would have in the wild. So he just completely has blown all of these out of the park. I could stare at them all day long. I absolutely love them. Thank you so, so much for sharing this because it's honestly so inspirational to look at these types of enclosures because it just makes me want to redo all of mine. So it's just what you've done is literally like a work of art. So thank you so much for sharing all of these. Next up we have underscore, tons of underscores, Kaylee, and then a ton more of underscores. So this is like the cutest photo of a snake I think I've ever seen also. And his name is Spaghetto, which is literally like the cutest thing. So he is a rough green snake and he has such a cool enclosure. I love this. So it's like a cube looking thing, but the doors open from the front, which is so cool. You guys tell me where you got that from because that's so awesome. So I like the plants that you have in here. Wait, she literally mentioned that this is from the brand Thrive. I think she was talking about the enclosure, but it just looks so pretty. So I'm not really familiar with rough green snakes to be completely honest. And I want to learn more just because this photo is like so adorable. Um, but looking at this enclosure, it looks like it has a nice piece of cork bark going through it. There's a little hide at the bottom on the left that I can see the tree, a water bowl, some fake plants. So again, I'm not really too familiar, but I think I would add just more things to climb on besides that one piece of cork bark that you have. I would like to see the top filled out more, maybe some vines throughout the enclosure. Your snake may like that as well and it may add some enrichment. Um, I think that leaf litter on top of this substrate would also look really, really great and just add some more enrichment. And then maybe some more fake plants and foliage. Even if you're going to use vines, you can literally wrap fake plants through the vines as well and it would just look really, really good. So those are my tips for this one. Thank you so much for sharing your enclosure and your adorable snake. Next up we have Nicholas262662. So this is for a beautiful green tree python. So stunning. So this is a really cool looking enclosure. It kind of looks like it's like a triangle shape. I'm not sure if it is, but that's what it looks like in this photo. And it has different types of woods and live plants throughout this enclosure. This looks so good. I absolutely love it. 
So the only thing, you know what? I don't even think I would add anything. I was gonna say more things to like climb on and perch on, but it looks like your perches are really good and I can see that you have like a main basking area and then there's a couple other places that your snake can go to as well if it wants to cool down. So you have like completely killed this. Something, you know what I think would really make this look really good is if you did a naturalistic background. I think that this would literally look like a piece of nature completely if you just made a naturalistic background and then all of this gorgeous center would just pop so much. And it will also add enrichment for your snake as well. So that would be my one recommendation for this, but you have done an amazing job. So thank you so much for sharing it. And those are all of my submissions for today's video. So again, thank you so much everyone who shared because these are probably my favorite enclosures to look at. So I didn't get that many, but the ones that I did get are just so good. And I loved looking at your guys' setup. So thank you so much for sharing and honestly just bringing inspiration to anyone that's going to watch this video because all of these are so inspirational and so helpful for others that are keeping arboreal snakes. So you guys are the best. Thank you so much for sharing. And thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you guys like it and I will see you guys in the next video.